Hello, Shalom, Master Farai, Salam Tanat, Aina Yusuf I know many of y'all are aware of the situation with the Ark of the Covenant, the sanctuary for um, the Ark of the Covenant in Aksum. As you can see right here, the roof and other parts of the structure need repair. And if you go and look it up on the internet, you'll find the Ark of the Covenant. There's a page here for Africa's future on the spiritual journey. Please uh, check this page out. And those brothers and sisters who are fellowshipping with us and working with us in various parts of the ministry, I would like for us to give due attention to this and the fundraising for this particular project. We also heal up... Um, Sister Jem Morrison, Ascala Mario, um, the, we will say, uh, the de facto, is it de facto, the jure, we're not going to go through those particular details, but we still heal up the one who is the international president of the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated at the present time because of this particular work that she's doing. As you can see here, here's I9 brother, here is, um, Ras Sadiki, right? Ras Sadiki. He's been baptized by the keeper of the Ark of the Covenant and has his new name, but you can reference him on the internet and his work here with seeking to create certain pages with the Light of Jesus Society. We've been in direct communication with him um, via, um, via email, and we also will give him a, a call, hopefully, to reason with him and speak to him more directly. And we have communicated with him on behalf of the brothers and sisters in the society, in Lion of Judah society, who are interested in assisting this, this official work. So we're going to publish um, some of those initial communications as well. Um, as you probably already know, we've been on the subject matter of the Ark of the Covenant for some time now, speaking on the Ark of the Covenant, speaking on the Metaf, um Kedus, um, and um, speaking on on what we need to do to prepare ourselves, you understand, as, as his people fully in the spirit and in the truth of the King of Kings and his Christ, our Black Lord and Savior, Kiyotachina, Med Hanatachini Jesus Christos. So this is the brother right here um, with his uh, dreadlocks or with his locks. Um, his story basically is right here as told by Sister Jim Morrison of the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated. And as the brethren reminded and I and I, we remind all of you that this is not a joke. This is not a game. This is very serious. You will send our support for this. We're going to do some more um preaching on some of the um the the Torah portions that can give those who are spiritually grounded the necessary inspiration as well as direction of what we need to do to support this. So those brothers and sisters who have pages, we'd like them to link this, to link some of the support pages and to begin ASAP, to begin immediately. ASAP to um, generate support for this and um, the society acts that those who are of the society in spirit and in truth when they give such support whether through PayPal's or direct email to just heal up the fact that one is a member or a disciple of the society of his imperial majesty of the line and society um, as well as you know that this is part of I and I support effort and ministry effort to support I and I work in Africa's future and the spiritual journey of all of us as faithful and true Rastafari. Now, um, this page is very, very interesting, and of course, you know, as you can see that there's very much more. We just decided right now just to post this right here just to get the word, the word forward. We've we received word over a couple of days two or three, this might be the third day since we received an official reply from um, Ras uh, Sadiki. And as we see right here, here are the instructions for sending for funds to the Africa Future Corporation. The organization has been set up by Ras Sadiki, the first or Sadiki I, 
for the purpose of raising funds to build the temple. Raising funds to build the temple. As you can see right here, the account name is Africa's Future Corps. Um, the PayPal email is Africa's Future Corps at Gmail. Um, the bank is TD Bank. The bank address 200 Boston Turnpike, um, Shrewsbury, MA 01545. The routing number, the routing number, these are the routing numbers right here, and that count number. You can pause this and take this information down or go to the website and save, bookmark, print out the page as well. This is the SWIFT code for U.S. currency. If U.S. currency is being sent directly for funds sent from overseas, overseas only, so those brothers and sisters of the society in overseas um, areas, um, we have the SWIFT code for foreign currency as well, for funds which are being sent from overseas only. And also there's more direct contact with Ross Siddiqui right here at his particular Gmail. So take this down as well. So as you can see right here, here are the instructions for sending funds. And the Society of the Imperial Majesty, LOJ, and I, Ras Yadinos Tesari, Wendem Yadin, we fully support this effort. And we would like to encourage our co laborers also to perhaps put up certain pages or links from their particular sites for this special project, especially for us as, as the Dekamez Amorit and disciples in the Society of the Imperial Majesty. All right. Um, other issues, you know, concerning EWF, so forth and so on, um, we are, you know, those are political issues. What we have to do is get a spiritual foundation and a spiritual groundation. So all of those who have supported I and I in the EWF and in these particular um, past issues, you know, and this is the, this is the major this is the major work right now to do. Those who are with I and I and those who are not. This still is the major work if you know what this what this means. You understand if you know what this means. So um whether it's just a widow's might, you understand, or whether it's a, a, a great a you know, a great sum or a small sum, it matters not as long as one's heart is moved to give towards this particular project. And those brothers and sisters who might have any um special ideas or inspirations or calls to do anything that, you know, with, with supporting this particular effort of, of repair and construction in Ethiopia, Africa's future, I and I Spiritual Journey, please get in touch with I and I um, through the website www.lojsociety.org, and we're going to work on also um, some pages and testimonies like this, which um, Sister Jim Morrison Sister Jim Morrison of the EWF, of the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated, has put together, which is called um, the Ark of the Covenant, um, Africa's Future. As it says right here, Ethiopia shall soon stretch forth her hands to God. But remember the whole verse, Bamarinya, from Met of Kedus of Negusa Negas, from the Mesmor, Mesmor Dawit, which reads, Nekwanent ka gibit yuwet alu. Echokia echochuan wada egezi avi her tzaragalech. And may all the faithful Rastafari, the aggregation, say, Amen and Amen. So, my brothers and sisters, check it out for yourself. Please do. We're going to post this ASAP, um, as well as get some of the other information that. We have um, for you some web pages up there as well um, to give support and encouragement to this brother, Ras Siddiqui, his spiritual journey, and also his being appointed, chosen to carry out this work. Um, give thanks and praise, and, and let's pray for I and I, brother, and pray for the successful fulfillment of this particular work, and also for Sister Jim Morrison. Um, Ascala Mariam, this is a very, very um, good work that you are about, you understand, especially even in the name of the Ethiopian World Federation. And the I has, I and I support 
you understand, and um, give thanks and praise. Um, salam tana, aina, yes, a link. Check it out more for yourself. All right, shalom in the home of Aras the Fari.